Andrei Medvedev is lucky to be alive. The former Wagner unit commander says he fled Russia in a daring Arctic escape, dodging bullets and dogs across a frozen river to Norway. I've been chased. I'm afraid for my life. Afraid, he says, because he has witnessed the murderous atrocities in Ukraine committed in the name of his ex-boss, Wagner oligarch Yevgeny Prigozhin, a.k.a. Putin's chef, and he wants to tell all. Russians killing Russians, some of them former prisoners freed from Russian jails to fight for Wagner. I know cases where prisoners were demonstratively shot dead for refusing to fight or for betrayal. They were showing fighters, here, this is what will happen to you. He says he joined Wagner in July last year signed up for four months, fought near Bakhmut in eastern Ukraine. But when Prigozhin began recruiting former prisoners to swell Wagner's ranks, Medvedev saw a deadly change, wanted out as his contract ended, but wasn't allowed to quit. Since the moment the prisoners have come to serve with us, strange things and murders of their own recruited prisoners by the Wagner Security Service and foolish orders such as sending us to die as cannon fodder started to happen. He is the highest ranking Wagner fighter to flee to the West. His eyewitness account of Prigozhin's murderous practices in Ukraine is revelatory. He is uh, really a uh, target for, for the uh, Russian special forces, or for mm. the uh, uh, security mm. service from Wagner Group. Uh, it's a very high risk of, of die. Human rights activist Vladimir Osechkin helped Medvedev escape has made sure his story gets out. It's very important to uh, do the uh, international investigation about this. It's very important to open this informa information to the Russian people to, to understand what is happening. Medvedev's biggest revelation will likely be the most damaging to Putin and Prigozhin's recruitment drives. Last month, Prigozhin recorded this callous video, purporting to pose in front of his dead fighters in body bags, claiming their contracts were complete and they were on their way back home. But Medvedev says he's seen the truth. Many fighters never making it home because Prigozhin is too cheap to pay out insurance on their death. The majority of the prisoners were buried and then declared missing. The insurance only pays out money to relatives of the deceased if the body was identified and handed over to the relatives. So they were just declaring everyone as missing. Well, right now, Medvedev is at a secure location in Norway, telling investigators every detail that he can remember. He says he didn't commit a crime, but wants those responsible for all the murders to be brought to justice.